Today, you're going to learn how to set up this Instagram widget in Notion. I've put everything on this welcome page in just three simple steps, but I figured a video would make it easier to follow along. Whether you are using the free version or pro, the setup is exactly the same. By the end of this tutorial, your widget will be up and running. Let's start. Let's start with step one, setting up your database. You can either use the pre-made template or create your own database from scratch. For this tutorial, I'll show you the easiest way by using our template. Just click the link below, and when the template opens, click the duplicate icon in the top right corner to copy it into your Notion workspace. Wait until it finishes duplicating. Okay, the template is duplicated to your workspace and ready to use. If you pay attention here, this database has two tabs. If you're a basic user, you can ignore or hide this pro tab. And if you're a pro user, you can just delete this basic tab. I have also pre-filled this database with sample data, so it's easier for you to try out. Moving on, step two, we will create the integration. Click this link to go to the Notion integration page. Um, if you haven't logged in yet, you'll need to do that first. Once you're in, click the new integration button, fill in the details. You can name it gallery widget or whatever you like, select your workspace and choose internal integration. After creating it, you'll see some random code, which is your token. We will need this token later, so don't close this tab. Now, let's head back to your Notion database. We need to connect your new integration, and it's quite straightforward. In the top right corner of your database, you'll find three dots, click there, and scroll down to find connections in the menu. You should see the integration we just created, the one named Gallery Widget. Select it, and that completes the connection. This step is important because it gives your widget permission to access images. Next time, if you want to create another widget, you can reuse the same token. Now for step three, generating your widget. Go to the setup page. Let's take care of the integration token. Remember the one we created earlier? Go back to that page. Copy that token and paste it into the first field. The next section is about when we added the integration to your Notion database. Since we've already done this, you can turn on this toggle. For the last field, you'll need your database URL. Go back to your Notion template. Um, you need the content database link, not the entire template. Open your database in full page view. Look for the three dots menu in the top right corner and click copy link. Then paste that URL into this final field. All right, great, everything's filled in. Click create widget and wait for a moment. It may take a while. Your widget is ready. Here's your widget link. You can check it out in your browser or add it straight to your Notion page. Let me show you how to embed it. Click copy, um, open your Notion page, and paste to your widget URL. And that's it. Currently, it is loading the image. Whenever you update your database, just click the refresh button to update your gallery. And you're done. You've set up your Instagram widget in around three minutes. Next time you do this, it'll be even quicker since your integration is already good to go and you're familiar with the steps. If you're a pro user, check out my other video on how to use all the pro features. Thanks for watching.